Hi, it's <laughs> Kim and Benita. Uh, Kim, you said you had a ghost story, but even though it's about like a really old timey ghost, you are so old timey. This took place on a rotary phone yeah. in an old house where the phone's plugged into the wall with a handle and the telephone and you have to dial. So a lot of people will think we're ghosts for even talking about this, but share the story. Thank you for making me feel old. Appreciate that. No, <laughs> no. so yeah, I was a kid. This was a really long time ago, right? The Bee Gees were popular, just so you guys know. Um, but I was on the phone um, talking with a friend of mine in school. And so we were just talking. My mom and my brother were out camping. So I had the whole apartment to myself. <laughs> Felt really great. I could stay up as late as I want, you know. And all of a sudden, we had two phones. We had one in the front of the house or the apartment. And then we had one in the back room where me and uh, my brother shared. And uh, all of a sudden, I heard the phone pick up. And anybody who has the old rodeo phones will know that it's a very distinct click sound when someone picks up the extension. You, you know, mm -hmm. the crap in the movies where they're like, Oh, let me go really slow and they won't hear it. That's a bunch of bullshit, okay? It, it's an audible click. You can tell. And I was the only one in my house. So I told my friend, sitting here the time, I'm coming to spend the night because I don't know what's going on. Hung up the phone and I went out. Uh, came back the next day. My my brother and my mom were still gone. I come into the apartment, grab my baseball bat from the front and I walked through the house and the phone was still off the receiver in the back. But the thing is, is... There was there was no exit, like the windows or nothing. It was just, yeah. So, yeah. That was my ghost story from way back when. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs>